Well, hello, YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob, and today I wanted to show something that has come up uh, several times with some of the people that I've spoke to. Uh, and I, I think that I can make uh, recording video or editing videos a step quicker than normal. Uh, not everybody understands what I'm what I'm talking about when I edit my videos. Now, instead of me taking and adding pictures and photos to a blank starter video, what I've done was I went up here to the file, and I would come down here to all my I would see all my starter video my all the videos I've ever edited and right here I have bison starter video now I'll click that and it'll open up now as you notice I have all my pictures for beginning which is six of them is beginning and then the other six are ending I have two two different musics which are the same music and it breaks right there. And then I've got all my captions that I want to add to the beginning and the end. Now the reason I bunched all these up here at the beginning is because when you add a video, it makes these disappear, the last four. So basically, and that's the nature of Windows Media Maker or Movie Maker. Um, so what I do is I've got this started. It, it's always going to be on my computer and anytime I want to make a video or edit a video, I just pull this Bison Starter video. And as you can see, it plays uh, fine. Everything's all bunched up so it's going to come up all together. like so. Alright, now it's it's as simple as I've opened it up, I've clicked on the Bison Starter video, now I go to the last picture of the first, the beginning of my videos. And I'll click the last picture. Now it'll show the picture before. Uh, at first I thought it was this one I had to do, but every time I did it on this one, I thought that because this cursor was here that it would put the video in between here but no it doesn't work that way it puts it at the end of the beginning of the picture that you have selected so you want to pick the very last photo and click on it and you put your cursor at the beginning of the very last picture of the beginning of your video now we'll go up here and we will add pictures or videos so I'm doing a video on this and I did it with my SJ cam on a tripod in front of my monitor but I decided to download a open broadcast uh, uh, software and I'm giving it a try so I just go in here and click on both of them and then hit open now these are already loaded but normally it takes forever to load these up uh, the only reason they loaded up so fast is because I just deleted these and started over and because it had already loaded it before it still loaded in my memory so now I have my videos in here now sometimes in Windows Movie Maker, and this is a pet peeve of mine, I, I, it, it drives me nuts that it does this. If you notice, the beginning of the last song is right before the, the video. And it's run into my beginning video. So let's move this down and you'll see what I mean. I'll just move it down here out of the way. You see, the music is not 
going the whole distance of my beginning part of my videos. So I'm going to have to click that and go to Music Tool and here at End Point, I'm going to just hold that down until I see the next video pop up or the, the video pop up in it. Right there it is. So now I've got my music set. Now I move my music all the way down here, my second music, down to the last part of the video. Now the reason I put all these here in a row is so they don't move. They'll always stay right there. They're already edited and ready to go. So now all I have to do is move it down. Move this one down. Move this one down. Move this one down. Move this one over. And then I just kind of split the difference between them, kind of even them up a little bit. Don't matter where they fall as long as they, they're kind of evened out. So you get the same amount of time between each one of them. So now we're ready to save. It's done. It's that fast. Now, if you want to go in here and edit your videos, that's a different story. When you do edit your videos, I would suggest you leaving all this up there where it was. So let's just back up here and I'll show you what I mean. So we're going to move all that stuff back up there. Now the reason that you want to leave all this here while you're doing your editing. Now you may have to move, move your music a little bit. But you don't want to put it down here where it belongs because I'll show you why. Let's say I wanted to cut this part of the video out. I would go up here, hit my video, hit split. And let's say I want to come back here and split that too. And split that and then let's say I wanted to delete this and remove it. You see what happened? My, mu my music moved further towards the end. Now if I was to take and remove this part, see there, it gets closer and closer. Now let's say I wanted to remove this part. Your music disappeared. It's not there anymore. So in order to recapture that after you've edited your video, you have to go to the very last one Add videos, so let's just, I'll just choose a random one if that ever happens. I try not to let that happen. But I'll just pick two videos, and there's my music. I found it. It only went that far away from the end. So I have to move it back up there, and then I'll just go back and remove the two videos that I just added. So that's the only thing that aggravates me about Windows Movie Maker is when you're cutting scenes it moves your music and I don't like that so I've devised a plan of attack that keeps my music from moving on me so I just leave it up here where I had it to originally until I'm done editing and cutting clips and stuff like that and I always use my music and my caption the very last thing I do. So basically I just go up here hit my music and go up here hit my music tool go over here turn my volume all the way down so that it doesn't interrupt me so now when I go to play the music doesn't come up and interrupt me. Well hello YouTube Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And today I wanted to show something that... And there it is. I've actually had so now we get to do this all over again with the video that I'm actually recording right now with open broadcast and that is uh, software. How I'm giving it a try and we'll see how it works. So anyway, uh, that will conclude how to make a starter video. So basically you're putting in, let's put it back the way it was originally. Basically you, this is what you start off with. 
and it's ready to be edited. So you just come back here to the beginning of the second part and add your videos there and go from there and everything's already typed in you ain't got to change nothing you've got it set the way you like it plain and simple if you got any questions guys uh, let me know and I hope I'm not screaming uh, you guys have a good one later